Hi guys, welcome to Joshua's Tech Tips. So this video is actually a follow-up to a video that I did a couple months ago. All right, so that video was an easy way to block adult websites with Unify and OpenDNS. So I got a lot of feedback, a lot of comments if it was possible to use OpenDNS without using Unify and specifically using it directly on Windows computers that were cabled, you know. So instead of using Wi-Fi connection, they were using physical cable connection, right? So I just wanted to make this brief video showing you how you could accomplish the same thing without having to use any Unify equipment, right? So you're basically just using OpenDNS directly on your physically connected con um, equipment, you know, such as Windows computers. So I'm going to open a new tab and I'm going to search for the word porn. So currently I have no filtering on this computer right now. So by default, I should be able to access these pornographic websites. So if I click on this link, as you can see, the website loaded. So for obvious reasons, I needed to blow that content. Right. So this method I'm going to show you, you could use it on any Windows based computer to help you block um, adult content from being accessed. Right, so first we need to come to the lower right hand corner of the screen. You see a computer looking icon. This means that we are physically connected to the internet, um, meaning that we have a network cable that connects our computer to our modem or router or whatever device that takes us to the internet. So I need to right click on this and I'd see network and internet settings. So I'm using Windows 11 on this computer. If you're using Windows 10, you should see something that says manage um, network settings, right? So I'm seeing that it's connected via Ethernet, you know, physical connection, right? Um, also connected with Wi-Fi, but I want to disable Wi-Fi just so there's no conflicts while we're doing this video. However, if your computer is connected via Wi-Fi, you can leave the Wi-Fi on and the procedure will be the same, except instead of choosing Ethernet, you're going to select Wi-Fi. Right, so this for this video, I'm going to select Ethernet since it's a physical Ethernet connection I'm using. So what we need to do in here is edit our DNS servers. Right, so do that, we need to click on the Edit DNS Server Assignment button. Right, so um, DNS basically is what our computer uses to resolve um, host names, you know, or websites. Right. If you're interested in finding out more on how DNS works, you could take a look at this video right here. Right. So we're going to hit the edit button. And we're going to change it from automatic to manual. And we're going to select IPv4. So here now we see we have the option to enter a preferred DNS as well as an alternate DNS. Right, so um, what we need to do now is go back to our web browser, open a new tab and enter OpenDNS. Right, so OpenDNS is basically um, the DNS provider that we'll be using that will enable the filtering. So we click on the URL and OpenDNS, they have both enterprise as well as consumer products. So we want to go over to the consumer product section. Right, and here there are a range of different products. You know, there are a few paid products as well as a few free products. Right, so for this video in particular, we're going to use the Open DNS Family Shield. However, I know I have a long overdue video for the Open DNS Home plan, right? Um, so I haven't forgotten you guys. I'm going to do this video asap and get it out to you you know it has a little bit more control in terms of filtering but we're going to go ahead and use the open dns family shield for this video so when i go here now so we can see um this is really the information that we need the dns server addresses right this is the key to the kingdom in other words all right so we also they also have some you know tutorials there showing you how to set it up on your various devices. So you could feel free to check out that as well. So what I'm going to do is actually copy the first DNS server address, right? The first IP address. I'm going to paste it over here as the preferred DNS, right? 
I'm going to head back over now and do the same thing with the second IP address. I'm going to copy that and put that as an alternate DNS address. Alright, so once I'm done, I'm going to hit the save button to save our changes. And as we can see now for this DNS server assignment, it's changed to manual as opposed to automatic and it shows you the two addresses that set there. So let's see if it actually works now. So I'm going to minimize this and we're going to open back a new tab here in our web browser. And like before, I'm going to search for the word porn. And I'm going to try the first result that I'm seeing here. Okay, great. So it, apparently it seems like it works. So we are seeing that we have a connection is not private error. And if we click advanced, there's no option to proceed, right? So basically we cannot access this website, right? So not great. That's great. It shows that the, you know, the DNS filtering is actually working. So let's try another website just to be sure. Right, so I'm going to try this one here and similarly we are seeing we're getting the connection is not private. If we click advance, however, I'm seeing that we have to proceed to the, the website anyhow. So let's click that. So by clicking that, so essentially it does nothing. So still we are unable to access this website. So you know, they say third time is the charm. So let's try one more website here. So I'm going to click on this. And as we can see, we cannot access this website even if we try to proceed to it. You know, we are unable to access the website. Right, so this guys is basically how you would do DNS filtering on your device directly on your Windows device. So this would work for Windows, um, you know, 10, Windows 11, Windows 7, right? However, getting to the specific DNS settings may be a bit different. And guys, this is by no means meant to be a foolproof solution. Mm -hmm. There are workarounds. However, it's just a nice free way to, you know, have those filtering in place for your kids and for your home. And that brings me to the end of this video. If you found this video useful, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell to be notified once a new video is released. Thanks again for viewing. See you soon.